As you may or may not know, I am a Star Wars fan, and there is no way that I am not going to sit here and ask you a question about Kenobi, but I know yeah. you've got to be careful with your answers. I'll just say, were you a Star Wars fan going in? Like, was this one of these things where they called you about Kenobi? You're like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I was watching Star Wars before I came down here right now. <laughs> I'm a I'm a real big Star Wars fan and um you know I I had auditioned for uh uh Lando for the solo film and when I didn't get it it like crushed me I was like you know what I quit I'm going back to being a writer like I'm done and you know I was filming Swagger and my agents were like yo um we need you free in the next 2 days noon like, all right like just listen you want to take this meeting so i took it and it was deb lord deb shout out to lord deb deborah child and um yeah she gave me an opportunity of a lifetime and it's uh god i can't wait to talk about it so bad <laughs> i want to talk about it so bad but i know mickey probably still has my phone bugged and I, you know, I just love my family. <laughs> uh, I really, really cannot wait to talk to you about it. Yeah. Can, you, can you tease? Were you able to touch and use a lightsaber? Are you allowed to say it? All I'm going to say is I really am a fan of you and McGregor. <laughs> That's my boy. And my man, Kumail. Kumail is my dog. That's my, he was, um. He's Kamel's really been a, a major motivation for me when it comes to getting in shape for Den of Thieves 2 because of just how jacked he got uh yep. for Eternals. And uh yeah, he he's got his 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 line open for me. Any questions that I need. And uh yeah, he's got an action figure now because he's in the Eternals. And you know, I'm gonna need that. He said he'll give me. Uh, you know, a good price for it. So we'll see how that goes. I, I, I got news for you. When you're in Star Wars, most likely you'll also be an action figure. My, this is something I think you can talk about, though. Um, yeah. They use this really cool technology, the volume, when you're making Star Wars. And I wanted to know, what was your reaction working with the volume technology? What impressed you? What was cool about it? What's so crazy about the volume is, like, you really forget. Like, after a while, you forget that you're just in this studio, well, you know? And the, honestly, the scariest part about it is when they turn it off because you'll be sitting somewhere, some cave in the middle of whatever, and you, you got background on the volume working around and it, it just, you get so engulfed in, in the scene that when they turn it off and the entire room you're in just goes white. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like a matrix moment when they were, when he visits the architect, it was just, it was a, a a crazy experience, and it really would have saved a lot of people back in the day to have that type of technology. I could just imagine, you know, filming on location in these, no disrespect, but these terrible places. <laughs> so, like, you know, it, it definitely saved a lot of uh, a lot of man hours. Um, it's it's it, it's hard to explain the feeling that it gives you walking in there, the, the, the abilities that it brings as filmmakers, what it, it just gives us so much that normally you would have to be playing pretend on a green screen or just, you know, okay, this looks like this and, and getting terrible descriptions. And yeah, it's a, it's a time saver. It's a lifesaver. And uh, God, somebody please give me more Star Wars jobs.